He, he knows. Whoa, I wouldn't even say that. Nonetheless, just a little woman. Clickety click, clickety click. Knock little men off their platforms like you. Quite Some... angry. You make me angry. A row has erupted over Jeremy Evil Clarkson's column in The Sun about Meghan Markle at the weekend. He says, at night I'm unable to sleep as I lie there, grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds try and shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Damn! If you don't know who Meghan Markle is, she's a C-list actress that married Prince Harry. And her and Prince Harry recently made some accusations about the royal family, which has kind of pissed a lot of people off, including Jeremy Clarkson. You accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even... Well, we don't. well of the British press said that. Right. I did, did Meghan ever mention that they were racist? She said there were troubling comments about... Yeah, oh, there, there was skin concern color. about his skin colour. Right. Concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? Who is having that conversation? There is a conversation... Hold up, hold up. There's several right now. There are several conversations There's a conversation it. with you... With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be? Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't, not having lived within that family. Right. So you again, don't going, mean, going back to yeah. the difference between what yeah. my understanding is, because okay. of my own experience, the difference between racism and unconscious bias, the two things are different. You full of shit, you understand that? You full of shit. Now a bunch of people said Jeremy Clarkson went too far. He actually responded on Twitter and said, oh dear, I'd rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote about Meghan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones. This has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt and I shall be more careful in the future. So yeah, he says he's referencing the scene out of Game of Thrones with Cersei Lannister. Shame. And if you know anything about Jeremy Clarkson, you know he's a savage and he doesn't really give a shit, which is why I wouldn't even call this an apology. He didn't say sorry. People are still pissed off, including this woman you're about to see who makes an absolute muppet of herself on live TV and basically says that we should ban freedom of speech because of this. I get the feeling that you're going to interrogate me here. No, I was just disappointed with a tweet I felt rather clumsily popped out, suggesting that on the one hand, yes, Jeremy Clarkson's comments were misogynist and rather unpleasant. This woman loves to make it a men or woman thing. She loves making men look like the bullies and women look like the victims. But on the other hand, and here you abused history, you were going to defend his right to freedom of speech. It was the altar you were prepared to die on and you reminded us with a sort of, you know, jackboot analogy that 60 to 100 million people had died in the Second World War to protect not, the, not, not the Second World War. Well, in the last century. No, no, no. I, I, the 60 to 100 million I was referring to were the corpses laid at the feet of the Marxists who controlled and compelled speech and turned people into group thinkers. Right. Catch it, bitch. So you missed the point of my tweet. I miss it. Well, indeed. Well, then oh, you must craft mind. your tweets. Anyway, let, let, let's, let's leave my tweets alone. And you tell me why this is dreadful. Well, it's extraordinary that someone like you with such a fine public school education is lumbering under the misconception that we have complete freedom of speech. If I was a pedophile or um, a terrorist or a fascist, you wouldn't be platforming me right now. If I was inciting hatred against a different race or religion or someone of transgender or disability, I would not be platformed. I mean, as far as I know, Jeremy Clarkson is not a paedophile or a terrorist. He just made some comments about a C-class actress who's married to a prince. So it's a nonsense to suggest we have to let everyone spew out filth and poison left, right and centre, especially men with disproportionately large platforms. And let me tell you, dear Loza, there's an awful lot of you. Here we go again. This is what I was saying about this woman. It's always the men's fault. It's always the men that are the bullies. But just watch how she talks to him. I don't find it acceptable. And I think what you did was disingenuous. Well, well I condemned the way he spoke and then defended his right to free speech. Yeah. What's wrong with that? It, it was almost like saying, you know, let's pat him on the head and put him back in his box. Except his box well, That's not is... what I said. But, but it is what I, you said. No, no, no. That's how you felt about what I said. I, look, mm. and you're, you're looking at someone who really doesn't like Meghan Markle and doesn't like that spoil... Oh, no, let's not go back spoil, to... I can't spoil. hear another thin-skinned, slightly ageing white man be demeaning about Meghan Markle. Not when we've just globally gone global with one of our leading celebrities wanting to throw excrement at her. Do you think that the opposite of that, denying him the right to be so crude and disgusting and misogynistic, is better. It is currently illegal to stir up hatred against, and I gave you some of the categories, race, religion, disability, sexual orientation. I would like gender to be one of those categories. What is gender? There was 
My gender as a woman, my you're, sex, I want it to be sorry, better protected. Yeah, but I'm confused. What's gender? You're a woman. I'm a woman. Just like this comment says, she says it's illegal to stir up hatred against protected groups, race and sex after calling Fox a thin-skinned, slightly aging white man. The irony is hilarious. But this guy, he deals with it in the best way. Just watch how calm he stays. Jeremy Clarkson, the way he wrote that article, he was very clever. He, he knows you can't stir up hatred against Meghan Markle on the basis of her race. But she was posited throughout that article very much on the basis of her femininity. She had, to use Donald Trump's expression, whipped her husband, Harold Markle, uh, into his subservient position. She'd basically brainwashed him. So this was about Meghan Markle's femininity. He then asked us to imagine her naked. So he wants to take a woman and us to imagine her naked. And he then wants to shame her and parade her down the street and throw excrement at her. That is hatred towards women. And I don't think that's acceptable. I, I, look, I agree with you. Yes, so let's change the law. No, yes. no, no that's why I don't agree with you. Why not change because the law? Because I, I don't think it's legal to hate people. What about your insults and hatred towards the man that you're talking to throughout this whole interview? And I'm not saying that I'd have said what Jeremy Clarkson said, but to say that we've got to change the law and basically ban certain people from free speech is ridiculous. The problem is, what happens otherwise is big bears like you, Jeremy Clarkson, Piers Morgan... Hang on a minute, am I... What, no, because bear? actually, on this occasion, you've said, whoa, I wouldn't even say that. But generally, you like to poke with a stick. You go as far as you can. You push the right-wing envelope. You, and as I've explained, about. you men, Nigel Farage, Dan Wooten, have disproportionately large platforms. You get little me's on, a doctor, incidentally, but nonetheless, just a little woman, on, and you bear bait us for clicks. Clickety-click, clickety-click. Look, she's doing it again. I'm the little woman, I'm the victim, even though I'm the one throwing all the insults, and you're the big bully, even though you're the one staying calm. And she's talking about bait. The only one that's baiting anybody is her trying to bait him into losing his temper or insulting her. Because once he's done it once, even though she's done it several times, she'll jump on that opportunity to make him look like the misogynist and the one that's attacking her femininity. See, this is, I think, one of the problems that yeah. men will have. It's like, I'm, I'm condemning what he said. Yeah. And I'm saying that uh, on a philosophical level, I protect everybody's right to free speech. I think That's it's better. I think it's everybody's better. Everybody's right. You want pedophiles, fascists, you want racists. Do you really want everyone to have freedom of speech? What's the option? What's well, the alternative? At the moment, they're en enshrined in law is actually to be yeah. protected so, against so, fascists so, and so, we, so, we, so it's enshrined in law. So, yes. we do, so we just leave it. I found what he said abhorrent. I, no, I didn't find it abhorrent. I thought it was clumsy and crap. And I condemned it. And I don't see why I'm getting a lecture for supporting you. But it's not good enough. Because actually what this does is emboldens misogynists. Someone like Jeremy Clarkson now, he got his grand tour mentioned on your television. The Sun's probably not sold so many. It's probably, it's, 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 it's probably it's, why he did it. Well, exactly. Uh, and I'm saying that is not acceptable. And the way to stop it is to change the law. Oh, and, stop and, with the yes, law changing. And Knock little men off their platforms like you. Flick little men? I thought I was a big man. Well, a I bear, think... you said I was. Uh, because you have anyway, a big look. platform, darling. All right, darling. Well, I scuttle out of your cave now and leave you in your cave. It's not a cave. You're more this than welcome to stay. I'm You've been quite thank... angry. You make me angry, Lawrence. Well, I'm very like sorry. I'm, I've literally said nothing. You didn't have to. Whew. Now, obviously, I don't think that a woman should be shamed in public and have shit thrown at her. And do I actually think that Jeremy Clarkson would want that to happen to her? No. But to start saying now that we've got to change the laws and ban certain people from having freedom of speech is ridiculous. She came on there confrontational and aggressive. She weren't coming on there to have a conversation. She was just coming on there to have an argument. He didn't take the bait. He stayed unbothered, made her more bothered, made her look like a muppet. She called him a little man at the end there, but throughout the whole thing, she's the one that's acting like a little girl.